To get premium trading and investing tips, support on Patreon. How's it going everyone and welcome to another market watch video uh, before getting started guys I really have to thank you everybody for the last video you smashed those likes and really made the algorithm uh, get to a lot of uh, people through the YouTube community so uh, really thank you a lot because every like you drop every comment on my videos means that it will get viewed by more people and means that it will be reached out more and my channel gets more exposure so just by doing that means a lot guys and every single one today on stream just stopping by uh brainstorming through this market thank you so much because we came with better ideas again uh and of course as always today's videos uh, is just an explanation of what we talked about on stream from mondays to friday i stream every day at 5 30 p.m uk time if you have time make sure to join uh and we'll go and look at the market um, anyways guys as you can see I already invested in a few of the M forms um, and the case is that today there was a slight dip like Fatih yesterday was like close to 37k uh, there were like cars like uh, Upamecano, Lozano a bit higher but we expected this in yesterday's video we said that there's gonna be a small small dip on some cards so uh, if you didn't buy yet um, today was the day to just jump in on some meta cards that will potentially push up in value now why these meta cards are expected to push up in value is because on Thursday we're gonna get the rivals rewards and the rival rewards actually bring coins into the market when they bring the coins into the market people buy the most in demand cards as they are more hardly packable and because they're so hardly packable people pack mostly like those lower end cards or the cards that they don't need those the high-end ones actually go up in value as most focused to buy those specific ones now be careful about the lower end ones a lot of you kept asking me i don't know about kimpembe all of these cars that go like around 10k ish 15k -ish with low ratings i like i, I already said that yesterday and i will keep repeating that i wouldn't hold any of those unless you need them for your team also a lot of you have asked me about the Sheira, renato sanchez like i'm gonna buy those cards for my team uh on friday potentially when the ones to watch supply hits because they're lower end they're less in demand and they're lower rating so they should be dropping quite hard now uh basically renato sanchez if he gets into the team of the week he could be up in value so that specific card every specific card that goes into the team of the week too will be a bit higher so i wouldn't necessarily buy it when the, he's in the team of the week but if he doesn't get in i'll buy him for my team on friday if not i'm gonna find an alternative till he goes back down uh, we talked about the fodder card investments as well now the fodder card investments are very interesting right now and it's because the player of the month premier league should be out on friday when the premier league player of the month is out on friday we do expect some sort of demand on the fodder valued if the player of the month won't be as in demand for example if it won't have a high rating requirement or if uh, people just won't want to do it uh, if they wouldn't see the player fit in their teams most of these cards shouldn't rise up but remember we also have to get the la liga player of the month we have to get uh, the bundesliga player of the month and while we get those if those two specific SBCs, which I can't see, they should be rising every single folder up in value a bit at least. If they don't rise that, then in November there's the Icon SBC that will definitely bring up the folder uh, market up. Now what I expect with the folder right now is they won't have a necessary rise in value that will just make them boom up until there's the Icon SBC. But they're gonna go steadily up into the icon sbc and when the icon sbc is dropped that's just gonna boom them up in value so you can play this in two ways you can invest and buy one of each of the discard informs that are 84 rated or higher right now benitez and iniesta and you can store them in your club you can also go and check the gold cards that are currently at the folder value buy one of each the 87s and the 86s look at the very good values and the cheapest values if you just go and check on footbin uh their prices you just move here to the either you're on playstation or on xbox and you put in um i'm sorry not here but you just sort it by clicking on the price and uh with the stars um i can here on footbin you can like uh put the minimum rating which i would for example put 86 86 and this is how you can check currently the cheapest cards and it could help you a lot the 86 is also seem very cheap right now looking at the prices and they can bring you good values but we don't invest in these yet why because right now you have to hold the meta cards who should be going up into the next week yeah they will go up into the next week but the highest return on investment on the meta cards i expect it on 
Thursday to happen. Why? Because of the rival rewards and as I said, a lot of people will jump on the meta cards trying to get them and buy them. And as I talked on stream, a lot of these cards won't reach the highest price, but they will reach a return of investment that would be good to sell and to put those coins elsewhere. What we talked about is selling the highest end meta cards and buying at the supply the fodder value cards would be very smart. Because if on Friday, the player of the month already brings up the fodder value, you will be making good coins. If it does not, you just have a really safe investment where somewhere down the line, there will be a boom in price and it will make those coins pop out a lot with higher returns of investments than any of the meta cards that you're looking at right now. And after the first weekend leak, the meta card will actually start losing in value. Most of the gold ones will start going into a downtrend while uh, the father ones, either team of the weeks, which the team of the weeks, they quick sell at 10k, so they can't go lower than that than they are right now. So this is like the only way for them is up. And the gold ones that in my opinion, like the 86s, the 87s are already too cheap. So uh, just keep that in mind that investing into the father cards might not be that quickly profitable but it will be very profitable in the long run and it will make you definitely coins. In the meantime, you can trade, invest, put coins uh, elsewhere while you generate those and you play games, of course, when you'll get the game. Just be sure to put some coinage into something that will get you uh, safe profits. A lot of you have asked me when to sell the meta cards and yeah, this is it. Like, I do think Thursday is a good day not the highest point the highest point should be the week after before the weekend league uh, looking at the last year's patterns it could be wednesday it could be tuesday some of those two days uh, before we get into that uh weekend league uh, and usually be because of the over investments it did happen last year that the cards started to dip on friday they started selling uh because in the previous years usually that was the day with the most demand and a lot of investors thought that friday is going to be the time to sell when the weekend league starts but actually the cards just started going lower because of the oversupply and into sunday monday where they touched a very very low end uh which was very surprising to everybody last year um and to avoid that this year uh, I always recommend you guys go uh, with the other routes. If you didn't watch my yesterday's video, go and watch it because I'm explaining something about the icons uh, as well. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, I'm going to respond also to everyone uh, in the comment section in my yesterday's video. I'm sorry, I was very busy today. Didn't manage to have the time. If you have any questions, guys, drop them down below. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like as it gets more exposure everywhere. It surpassed 1k views uh, yesterday, which is great. So I thank you every single one of you supporting the video. And of course, remember uh, streams on Twitch, Monday to Friday, 5.30 p.m. UK time. See you there. Cheers.